Yo, what's up guys, Toby here from Tech Me Now, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Nexus 5X from LG and Google. <laughs> The Nexus 5X is the younger brother to the 6P, so it has a smaller screen size with a lower resolution, it also has a less premium body and less premium specifications, but most importantly, it's a lot cheaper, and in my opinion, it still holds up very well to today's standards, so let's find out why. So let's start off by looking at the specifications of the 5X. The 5X is rocking a Snapdragon 808 processor and 2 gigs of RAM. The screen is 5.2 inches and sports a resolution of 1080 by 1920. It also has Gorilla Glass 3. The battery has a capacity of 2700 milliamps and is able to quick charge via the USB Type-C port. In terms of graphics, we are looking at the Adreno 418 GPU. And looking at storage options, we either have 16 or 32 gigabytes, which is a little low, especially when shooting a lot of 4K video, which surprisingly the Nexus 5X supports. So speaking of 4K, what are the camera specs on the Nexus 5X? The Nexus 5X actually features the same sensor and optics as the 6P which is awesome to see 12 megapixels f2.0 aperture laser autofocus slow motion pretty much the whole package the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter with an aperture of f2.0 and in terms of audio we have one front facing speaker no not two we only have one but it kind of looks like there's two, but sadly there's only one, and it's not even good, so let's just not talk about the speaker. So let's take a look at the build. On the bottom, there's a USB Type-C port and a headphone jack. And on the side, there's some very boring looking power and volume buttons. And on the back, there's a fingerprint reader which is not clickable, which feels a little bit weird when moving from the LG V10. And as you've already noticed, the whole body is made out of plastic instead of metal, which we see on the more expensive devices, such as the 6P and the iPhone 6S. Alright, enough bullshit. Let's talk Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. It's awesome. There's nothing as pure as a Nexus device running the latest and greatest Android software. It's extremely sleek and smooth, and everything runs like a charm without needing to worry about random pre-installed software. So yeah, that's awesome. But software is nothing without hardware. So how is the performance? The Nexus 5X handles daily tasks such as browsing the web and multitasking surprisingly good. It's only when you start gaming and doing more heavy stuff that it starts to lag a bit behind, but not by much. The screen is actually great. It's not a 1440p AMOLED display, but colors are still decently vibrant and poppy. But I have noticed that the screen has a small amount of green tint, uh, which looks a little bit weird, but it's only noticeable once you go really deep into it. And other than that, it's great. And in my opinion, it also has the perfect screen size. It's relatively easy to use with one hand, but at the same time, it's fairly big for consuming media such as YouTube and Netflix. And speaking of media, how is the camera? I will let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Leave 
your comments about the camera down below in the comment section. The front facing camera is decent but not special at all. It's gonna get you okay selfies. But all this hardware would not work without a battery. And this is where the 2700 mAh battery steps in. I could go an entire day with moderate use and still have about 20% left. But if you are a power user, the Nexus 5X may not be for you because the battery drains pretty damn quick. But to mention, it also charges pretty damn quick. And that with the help of the new quick charging capable USB Type-C port. All right, that's the Nexus 5X. It's an awesome device and for the price, you will not be disappointed. The Nexus 5X is a very well-rounded device, and I would not hesitate to recommend it to anyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if not, please tell me why in the comments down below. Also, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.